All right, guys, I thought today we could talk about some displays for your Arduino and your projects. I brought out four um, displays here. Two of them are related. Actually, you know what? We're going to say three of them are related. One is different, but uh, we'll get to that. So I have a 0.96 inch uh, OLED that's running on I squared C. I have a 1.3 inch OLED that is running on SPI. I have a Nokia 5110 that is running on SPI. And I have a 16 by two LCD that is of course parallel. So let's take a look at the two OLEDs first. All right, let's see if we can uh, power them up here. They're both running the same thing. They're just running the uh, OLED test program for the library. And they are each using an Adafruit library. The small one is the uh, SSD 1306. The large one is the SH. 1107 Let's reset these All right, so as you can see they're both running the same thing um, The small one as I said is the I squared C that's the inter integrated circuit interface and if you overlook the two lines needed for the power then what you have here are simply two lines needed for data, A4 and A5. A4 is data, A5 is clock, and that's all you need for one of these. Now, the SPI line here, we have a line for power, a line for ground, and then we also have DN, clock, chip select, and this one's calling it DC. The standard pins for SPI are, of course, S-Clock, MISO, MOSI, and SS. S-Clock is being your serial clock. MISO is master in, slave out. MOSI is master out, slave in. And SS is slave select. And, like I said, the um, I squared C has the standard A4, A5 pins. The SPI also has standard 13 for S-Clock, 12 for MISO, 11 for MOSI and 10 for slave select. Now the next question should be which one is faster. So let's reset them again. Well, they didn't reset it exactly the same time, but according to um, electrical engineer Kurian Polichin, PhD, SPI is faster due to its drive mode. It says the SPI chips are able to drive and discharge charge faster than the the I squared C because I squared C requires pull up resistors and I guess you can see that this one is, the SPI is actually moving a little bit faster no big deal now let's take this one out and bring in the Nokia display which, by the way, is also running the uh, same test library. Now, this is a really, really cheap display. I think around $4 is monochrome. Well, all, all these displays we're looking at today are monochrome. And uh, this one uses... How many pins we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins. Three of them for power. So this is the, uh, it is a five pin SPI interface. So, you know, you, you've got your SPI, you got your OLED, you know, different interfaces for different things. And the last one we're going to look at is probably the most complex one to set up that's the 16 by 2 LCD 
And when I say it's the most complex to set up, it is, but I mean, it's really not that complex. But it, as you compare them all, it is. So here's your 16 by two LCD. It has 16 pins and you have to hook it up through a potentiometer to control the contrast. Otherwise, you might not be able to see anything on the screen. So, this is about the same price range as the, uh, the Nokia 5110. So those are uh, four very common displays that are available for your Arduino. And you're gonna need a library for each of them. The library for this one is called Liquid Crystal. Uh, this one is using the Adafruit uh, 5110 library. This one is using the Adafruit SH1107 library. And this one is using the Adafruit SSD1306 libraries. The libraries are fantastic. They, they make things just so completely simple. I mean, the hard work is done for you. Download the library, you get it running. You know, within 10 minutes, you've got a fantastic looking display for your Arduino project. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? If you're not subscribed, you can't win the Arduino Zero that we're giving out on St. Patrick's Day, 2017. Catch you next time.